Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be cooking, eating, and reviewing this US MRE. This one is Beef Patty Jalapeno Pepper Jack. Stick around for this week's MRE review. Hi, my name is Dan and welcome to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please get started by hitting that like, the subscribe, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get on with this week's MRE review. All right everybody, we're gonna be trying out this US MRE. This one is Menu 19 Beef Patty Jalapeno Pepper Jack. So there's a look at the outside of the package and then the back. So these ones supposedly have a peelable seal. So let's open her up and see what we're having for lunch. Just to let you guys know as well, we're out. Oop, peelable seal didn't work. We're out at our fishing game property today, which includes a shooting range and some archery ranges and all sorts of stuff like that. So you might hear a little bit of noise in the background here as we unbox this. So when you open her up, she comes packed inside of another package. So we'll open up this. All right, so that's the beef patty. Well, there's the nutritional information from the main M&Ms. Okay, we got barbecue sauce. Fat-free mayonnaise. Beverage base orange type three. This is a oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie. Got a spoon. We got a flameless ration heater. We got au gratin potatoes. We got some potatoes. And tortillas. It looks as though we have a little accessories pouch. Inside there we have sugar, toilet paper, cheese spread with bacon, moist towelette, paper matches, iodized salt, non-dairy creamer, and a Bill's Brew coffee. Couple little things of gum. Oh, and then there's the beverage bag that we can use to mix up the drink. All right, first we're gonna try to get the beef patty and the au gratin potatoes going here. So what we tend to do is uh, first you tear here to use the bag. You wanna hold on to the garbage there? Thanks, my man. So once you open up that, you can tuck hopefully both of these two things in there. Alright, so then that's in there. Okay, now we take a little bit of water. You don't want to go crazy. It's just a teeny bit. That's probably good. Now we can close this over and we'll set it on a on something and we'll let it do its thing. Hopefully this works. All right, we got it inside here. And We'll let it do its thing and hopefully we'll come back. Oh yeah, I can already feel the heat. Things are gonna be looking up for us today. Time to get the beverage base orange type three going here. It says to mix it into 20 ounces of water. So we have an Nalgene bottle here with a little less than 20 ounces of water. So we'll go with that. 
mix it off into the container. There we go. I'll give it a good shake. There we go, and we'll get back to you soon. All right, we're gonna try to get some coffee going, but I don't really, I should have thought about putting this into the flameless ration heater, but I didn't do that today, so we might just make it cold. So it says to mix it into how many ounces of water did it say? Six ounces of water. Six ounces is a little bit more than that. We'll make it kind of like a iced coffee, I guess. Might be gross. Okay, I put six ounces of water in here, really just for measuring. There's a look at the Bill's Brew. Give it a shake. Put the sugar in there. Do you want to put the Non-dairy creamer in there too. iced coffee. All right, snack squad's getting kind of hungry here so let's put these M&Ms on the plate. So we're taking a look at the M&Ms. Um, it looks as though the expiry date 2020. So this is a 2019 menu. We'll take a look at the M&Ms. Maybe we'll put them over here. They look just fine to me. And we'll plate up this oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie so again you got uh, 2019 128th day so put that on the plate okay we got a nice little cookie smells really good these are the tortillas these actually feel pretty good shape Okay, we're going to take out our food here out of the ration heater. And then this is the beef patty, so we'll open up that. It's kind of like a hamburger made out of Spam. Oh, we got some nice grill lines on there. All right, well, let's give some stuff a try. Okay, Snack Squad, assemble. You guys going for a, one of these bad boys first? I'm going to look at the inside first. Looks good to me. It tastes different. Yeah? Oh, no. I don't know. Just the first taste. Tastes great. Try some potatoes. Again, it could have been heated more. Yeah, it's pretty cold still. Tastes good, though. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Mm. Pretty good? good. Could have been cooked more for sure. Yeah. Try some juice mm -hmm. or orange drink. And I'm going to try some coffee. The iced coffee is not horrible. Mmm was okay to actually do that to be honest and there's a look at the orange drink the cookies look at 8.5 out of 10 that's really good oh the orange drink is perfect you're gonna love this my man mm -hmm, it's good does it taste like orange juice yeah you guys tried some cookie mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. try a little bit on its own sure great idea you guys all want to try a little bit on its own mm -hmm. mm, that actually is delicious 
got a little bit of spice to it. It is spicy. I think it's the cheese. Is the cheese inside of it too? Mm. It's a jalapeno, remember? Oh yeah. Beef patty grilled jalapeno pepper jack flavor. It's got a blend of Monterey Jack cheese. So you're right, it does have some cheese in it. Mm. Do you want to try the cheese spread? Yeah. Do you guys want to put it on bread or how do you want to do this? Put it on bread. Yeah, Dude, the it. cheese spread is like the best stuff you'll ever taste. Do you want some help? Have you ever had it before? Yeah. This is cheese spread with bacon. Do you guys want it on bread? Mm. Make a little mm -hmm. burger? Yeah, sure. Got barbecue sauce too? Yeah. And mayonnaise? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I'll probably do is I'll cut it in half. Right? And what do you want on yours? Go with Little H barbecue sauce, mayo, and cheese, the trifecta. Yeah. I'll do the same. It's gonna be good. The cheese spread looks okay. It looks a little bit like cheese whiz. Mm-hmm. Ooh, barbecue sauce is like watery, but it looks good. Mm-hmm. A little shot of mayonnaise on there too. Sure. I hope this looks good. Here, let's do this for you. This is what the MRE community would want us to do. Pull it one more time? Yeah, dude. Is there like actual bacon in it? Check that out, folks. There you go, give that a go. Mm. Is that the, mm. that's the way? You can really taste the barbecue sauce. Mm-hmm. And the bacon stuff is really it's pretty good, actually. I'd be happy if I was in the army and I got this. Yeah. It's delicious. Mmm. The cheese is so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the patties are interesting. The barbecue sauce tastes like, like it feels like it's like fresh out the bottom. Mm -hmm. Like it's good. Oh, it's like smoky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. If you made it this far. I think we'll probably finish demolishing this off and then we will check back in with you soon. We just finished off with this menu 19 uh, beef patty jalapeno pepper jack, this uh, US MRE. Uh, again, we figured this one was from 2019, um, midway through the year, it looks like it was packed. So, overall, what would you guys figure? I mean, we probably would have let the beef patty and the potatoes heat up a little bit more, right? Um, probably would have been better hotter. I think we kind of had it at a medium sort of temperature and the potatoes were barely heated. But 
the patty itself I thought was really good. Kind of had a little bit of a fatty texture, almost like a slice of Spam, I would say. Um, but it was really good, had some good heat to it. You could definitely taste the jalapenos. So would you guys like that? I liked it. Yeah, they liked it. The potatoes also I thought were really good, quite cheesy and pretty delicious. I don't have any complaints about the potatoes. What about you fellas? Yeah, the mayonnaise, barbecue sauce, and the cheese. I mean, the bacon cheese is one of my favorite things that I ever get inside a US MRE. It's absolutely delicious. It was really good on the beef patty. It's great on the tortilla. And the barbecue sauce was surprisingly good too. The Chicken King here said if we could just buy that barbecue sauce on his own, he would want to get that. It was that good. Um, the mayo tasted a little bit weird. Um, it was that fat-free mayo and it kind of had like a bit of a salad dressing kind of flavor to it. So I don't think that that was our favorite, but the barbecue sauce and the cheese were really great on the tortilla. And to be honest, the tortillas held up pretty good too. I mean, there was a little bit of a crack in them from the fold line about how they're packaged inside the, the bag, but overall the tortillas were really great. And then we got what? Cookie, orange drink, M&Ms, and a coffee. And all those pieces were really solid as well. So. I don't know guys, what would you say overall if you had to give this thing a, a, out of 10? I'll let little H go first. I'd say 8.5 also because the gum like like had a lot of flavor, like it stayed, it still has flavor right now. It still has flavor and you've probably been chewing it for like 5 minutes? Yeah, so 8.5 out of 10 would be your review? What could have been better? Probably, like it would have been better if the potatoes were a little bit warmer. Okay. <laughs> Warm, probably be like a nine. Nice, okay, cool. What about you, Chicken King? What'd you figure about it? I would give it an eight out of ten. Yeah, because I think I wish it was a bun instead of a tortilla. Mm -hmm. That would have been better. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, eight out of ten, eight out of 10. could have been a ten out of ten. Perfect meal if it would have had a bun instead of a tortilla. He figured I would probably rate it somewhere along the same I mean I don't know kind of weird combination maybe of like um, scallop potatoes with a uh, jalapeno pepper jack patty so it's a little bit of a weird combination maybe it could have had a slightly different um, side along with it like maybe even if it had beans or something I don't know that might have been a little bit less weird than cheesy potatoes with it so I probably agree with you guys maybe about I mean all of the components were really good it was just a bit of a weird combination I would rate it 9 out of 10 um, I mean like you said tortilla would have been better with a bun Ch cheesy potatoes kind of weird with this patty uh, thing yeah potatoes kind of have a bit of weird taste so I would rate it 9 out of 10 but yeah overall I think we got what an eight and a half a nine and a nine out of ten so it still scores pretty good so um, anyways there's another look at the package so again this one was 2019 beef patty jalapeno pepper jack it passes the snack squad seal of approval um, and overall he liked it so yeah if you made it this far as always I want to thank you again for watching if you've been with the channel for a while and you haven't uh, yet please do hit the subscribe button subscribing is absolutely free it really helps my channel grow and I am making a push to 2,000 subscribers so it would mean the world to me if you guys liked it and subscribed and even share it out with your networks either through social media or even here on YouTube but it would mean a lot to get this one out there but um, yeah, I guess I'll end it as I always do. Uh, if this was your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well, please hit that like, the subscribe, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Until next time, we'll see you outdoors.